In the previous video, we were in the middle of implementing a visualization for the path for our pedestrians. Now, we are going to continue by implementing some changes to the game manager. So let's get going. We are going to create a reference value to public path visualizer. Call it path visualizer. Okay. And what we will need to do here is slide down to the handle escape. In the handle escape, we want to close uh, to, to disable our path. So let's call path visualizer dot reset path. Okay, and I think we have made it into a private. So slide up, choose the path visualizer and go to its definition. Great. Let's make sure that our reset path is public. Let's save it control minus to go back. And we are back in our game manager. So let's slide it down. So now we can call this handle escape pass visualizer reset. And we will want to add here the input manager dot we are going to call on mouse click and we are going to add a try selecting agent. Okay. And we do not have this method, so Alt Enter and generate this method. And this will be the method that will allow us to select an agent and make it show the path. So all we will need to do here is call game object hit object equals our object detector dot raycast all. We are going to pass here the uh, object ray. So let's type ray and let's change the name of the parameter to ray great and what we are going to say is if it object is not null we are going to try to get var agent uh, script equals it object get component and we are going to pass ai agent alt enter and using simple city dot ai okay so we might have or we might not have clicked on an agent so agent script question mark to say uh, instead of checking this if agent script x null return we are going to simply add this question mark it will automatically check if this is null if it is null it will just skip this statement if it isn't we are going to call show path okay that's it so let's go back to unity okay make sure you add to our path visualizer game object our path visualizer script so path visualizer and make sure you assign this to our game manager. Okay, great. Now, last thing we will need to do is go to our people and make sure that they do have a collider. So click on your female in the prefabs uh, people. So this is the first prefab. We are going to add a box collider. Okay, this is pretty big. So we are going to make sure that we edit it using alt. We can slide both directions. And this will be the trigger, so we do not have to bother much about the size of it. So I'm going to simply make sure that it fits our character. Okay. Great. Make sure that it is a trigger. And click on those three dots in the near the box collider. And copy the component. And we can go to the next one, female dress. Save the prefab. And we can add component. Actually, let's click on the three dots in the AI agent and let's paste component as new and it should paste as the same the collider. Let's go to mail casual prefab, save this prefab. Again, click on those three dots, paste the component so our collider and last one mail suit, save this component, click on those three dots and paste as new component. Control S to save it and use, let's use this arrow underneath the hierarchy to go back to our scene. Now we should be ready. So what we can do is click play and what we will need to do is create kind of a couple of road cells near each other, create a house and a special structures and we can click escape to deselect the menu. Now let's click spawn agents to spawn the agents and we can click on the agent and we will visualize the path. Now you can see that this is visualized uh, with a pretty thick line. But in any case, we can click on an 
pedestrian and you can see that this visualizes the path that it will travel and when it walks towards the end so when it reaches its uh, end position we will see that it disappears and the line should disappear as well let's spawn another agent you can see that now the agents are walking on the street not through the street so they are not inside the street now we have fixed this issue now before we finish i have a, another bug to fix now if we have a house in the place where there is corner and we try to spawn an agent it will spawn somewhere in this, this uh, in this corner that is not really close to our house so let's stop the game and to fix this issue we will need to go first to our road helper so let's go to our ai folder in our scripts folder and let's open up our road helper great so i have created those three methods get position from position to spawn get closest marker and there's get closest pedestrian position and now for uh, this implementation we will need to modify one of those methods so first of all we will need to modify this get marker uh, get closest marker to and as uh, in the parameters we are going to pass bool is corner equals false and this will be is corner flag that we will use inside this method instead of this general is corner that is our field in our root helper class. So this is this parameter that will be used in this get closest marker two, and it is set to false by default. Now, when we want to get the position for pedestrian to spawn, we indeed want it to be false so that we calculate the closest position to our house because we do not care about the closest position to our road position but when we slide down to this get closest pedestrian position we will need to pass here is corner from the classes definition so from the parameters of the class okay now let's go back to unity okay and we will need to go to our scripts folder and open up our structure model class so let's go and open it up great so let's make sure that we want to call this get pedestrian spawn point and we are calling this get pedestrian for uh, get position for pedestrian to spawn so that's good and we do not have references to this get pedestrian spawn marker so we are going to copy this name and actually what we can do is we can click on this get nearest marker too right click on it get all references in the window below in Visual Studio, you should see all the references to this method. And what we are going to do is we are going to search for this start marker position. Var start marker position equals the uh, placement manager get structure and then get nearest marker two in the AI director. Let's double tap on this and we should be in our AI director. And here, instead of get nearest marker two, we want to paste our name of the get position spawn marker. Let's save it. Control shift s to save all the scripts that you have opened and now we have some issue here so here is the issue that we cannot pass the marker so we have uh, received the marker here so instead let's call this position on this marker great and lower again we have this er um, error so we are going to get the position of this we could as well change the definition of the method to return as the vector 3 but let's not bother with it let's save it and let's now go to unity to check out if we have fixed this issue okay i have created the setup i'm going to spawn an uh, agent and you can see that it has been spawned in the nearest marker to the house instead of this uh, marker that is further from the house great so we have fixed this bug do let me know if something doesn't work so we will fix it in the extra episode if we need to and Thank you very much for watching, I hope you will leave a comment, leave a like if you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you are interested in Unity, I have created this pretty decent Unity course on Udemy about making a survival game in Unity, so I encourage you to check it out, there will be a coupon link in the description of this video and also you can join the Discord of Sunny Valley Studio and let me know what you think about tutorials, ask any questions that you might have and I will be glad to help you out. So, thank you very much for watching, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next tutorial.